Hello and welcome to Mr Morton's science videos. I'm Mr Morton and this week we are looking at GCC past paper questions. As always the paper we're looking at is linked in the description below so you can have a go yourselves. This episode we're looking at AQA Chemistry Unit 1, Higher Tier, June 2013 and we're just starting question 3. And this question is all about crude oil. Crude oil is a mixture of many different chemical compounds. Fuels such as petrol, also known as gasoline in America, can be produced from crude oil. Fuels react with oxygen to release energy. Name the type of reaction that releases energy from a fuel. Now when we burn a, a fuel, such as uh, petrol, that's called combustion. And that's when we're reacting anything with oxygen. So that can be petrol, diesel, kerosene. It's always going to be combustion. Fuels react with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. The reaction of a fuel with oxygen can produce a different oxide of carbon. Name this different oxide of carbon and explain why it is produced. Now this oxide of carbon is being produced because there's not enough oxygen. When you react something with oxygen, if there's lots of oxygen, it will produce carbon dioxide, which has got two oxygens. for every carbon okay and if there's no carbon uh, not enough oxygen at all it will produce just carbon which has got no oxygen for every carbon the one in the middle has got one oxygen and that's going to be our carbon monoxide so we're going to write in here carbon monoxide which is capital C capital O, no numbers, and it's produced because there's not enough oxygen. If there was more oxygen, it would uh, completely combust. Part B. Now this is looking at fractional distillation. So we've got a nice diagram here of our fractional distillation column. Most of the compounds in crude oil are hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is a compound that consists of only carbon and oxygen atoms. Hydrocarbons with the smallest molecules, okay, so that will be the ones with C2 or C4, uh, C2H6, uh, C4. H10 uh, are very volatile. Volatile means easy to vaporize, as in turn into a gas. The question here is a six mark question. So that's expecting us to write. Uh, to a certain standard. And let's have a quick look at the mark scheme to see what is it expecting for a six mark question. Okay, now to get six marks we're expected to get a level three answer. This means you need a reasonable explanation of how the petrol is uh, separated from the real other fractions in crude oil using both evaporating and condensing. You also need to have a certain uh, quality of written communication. That means there's lots of ways you can get those six marks as long as you've written in good English. We're going to plan our answer first and then we're going to use that to help us write the answer. Now you could do this on the back of your paper or you could do it um, at the side of the, the question in case you miss anything out in your final answer. So we're looking at things that we can use to write to explain how petrol is separated from the mixture of hydrocarbons in crude oil. Well, the first thing that happened is the crude oil goes in at the bottom of the fractional distillation column. Crude oil is a mixture of different hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are compounds that are made only from carbon and hydrogen atoms. The bottom of the column is the hottest. This is going to get us a mark that sentence there. The bottom of the column is the hottest. This is where all the uh, hydrocarbon fractions vaporize. That means turn into a gas. 
Now, when something turns into a gas, it's going to expand and then it's going to rise through the column. Okay, so the gases rise through the column. And when the gases get to a part of the column that's actually cooler than their boiling point, they're going to condense back down. So the gases condense back into liquids when they cool below their boiling point. And then the reason they're separated is because the different fractions have got different boiling points. Make that even shorter. Crude oil goes in the bottom of the fractional distillation column. Crude oil is a mixture of different hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are compounds that are made from only compound hydrogen atoms. We don't need that anymore. The bottom of the column is the hottest. This is where all the hydrocarbons vaporize, which means turn into a gas. They are not burnt. That's a mistake you don't want to make. You'll lose a mark for that. The gases rise through the column. The gas is condensed back into liquids when they cool below their boiling points. The different fractions have got different boiling points, which is why they are separated. Related back to the question, the question says, describe and explain how petrol is separated. So petrol is a mixture of hydrocarbons of similar boiling points, which is why they are separated. from the rest of the hydrocarbons. So we could add a few more things to that. We could say um, some of the hyd uh, fractions do not vaporize and leave as liquids through the bottom. Some do not condense and leave as gases through the top of the column. Okay, well, I guess that's six marks. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. We're going to move on to question four in the next video.